Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Okay, you can see I used carriage bolts and fender washers um, at all locations. Didn't use carriage bolts up here, but I did use fender washers. Let me go ahead and flip it over. Like I said, I may replace out these, but I'm not gonna do that right this very second. You can see, okay, that's that little piece of steel that I made that goes across. Um, so, did I need fender washers here? No. But what I did, the way I tightened these down, because these are nylon uh, lock nuts, and of course you can't hand tighten those, so um, I had to grip the, the bolt itself with some vice grips, take it down a little bit, and then I put a ratchet. I, of course, when I had the vice grips on there, I used my uh, ratchet socket, and I could only get it so far, and then... I undid the vice grips and put the vice grip on the tip right here and of course I had a ratchet wrench so I just cranked it down with the ratchet wrench and it's all nice and tight my only concern and I don't know how much of a concern it is you can see because that's that's the bolt that bolts this in so you can see that there's a little bit of a a gap there so yeah the wheelbarrow got sucked down a little bit same thing down here you can see there's a little gap there there's my plastic filter now this stuff here this uh plastic i got some uh, loctite plastic bonder um again we'll see how it turns out but as of right now um i have a fully functioning wheelbarrow which I haven't had for uh, about two years or so. I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do this repair. That's why it took so long. But like I said, now I am gonna replace this out for sure. And like I said, I may replace these pieces out. I can just use this, the same steel right here. And I can use this, this steel here I can replace this out because this is stronger than this. I don't care that it's not as big, but this is this is this stuff is stronger because this is I don't know what eighth inch thick, maybe thinner, but still it's a lot better, a lot a lot more durable than this stuff is. So, but anyways, so that's that's what I got. Again, I hope this video did help someone. Uh, give you some ideas of how you can do a wheelbarrow repair because I'm sure getting these holes is fairly common. Um, and like I said, I was going to plastic weld and just reuse the existing holes down there, down there. I was gonna reuse everything, but even once I put the, uh, the filler in there, I wasn't sure how durable it was going to be. So that's when I concocted this idea because I happen to have some of this stock um, laying around. So yeah, I cut this, ground it down. It's, uh, it's I, I got it somewhat beveled, not beveled, but angled. Um, so yeah. Uh, like I said, I hope this video helps someone. Um, if you want, give me a comment. Let me know if this helped you out, if this gave you some ideas. I don't know if you've already seen my other video. That's actually a tubeless tire. That's a, uh, I think, I think it's foam filled. So I'll never have to worry about getting a flat tire. Um, thinking about, I just kind of threw that in spur of the moment, these little PVC spacers, but you can see, uh, I got these pins in here. So I'm thinking about doing the same thing here to keep the, to keep the wheel in line. So it doesn't, so it doesn't scoot in. But anyways, um, 
I don't need to show you that video because I already showed you the video on doing the tires and uh, putting a pin in here is it's not a big deal and I probably won't shoot a video on this maybe if I make these up I might um, but anyways so yeah I hope this helps someone uh, like I said if it if it does give me a like and uh, thank you very much have a good day goodbye